Yeah, so all these appear to be empty, empty kegs. But those over there that are connected are still full. You'd have thought they'd have drunk it all before they uh, shut the doors. Yeah, all right. Good morning. It might even be evening or uh, afternoon where you are. Hope you're all uh, doing great. I've been meaning to do this place for well ever since I've lived here really. Kept my eye on it. And uh, this morning I've just walked past and one of the windows is open. We're going to have a look inside. The Abbotsford Hotel, which is an old Victorian building. Which would have uh, once serviced the old Victorian railway station here in Gallus Hills. When the railway station was a hell of a lot bigger. It used to be connected to, uh, to England as well as Edinburgh. Now of course it's only connected to Edinburgh. So uh, yeah, we're here now. So I'll just point you around. And the window is open. It's just there. You can see the handles open. So the window just flaps open like that. So I just need to quickly get myself in. And uh, I'll see you on the other side, guys. Yeah, so welcome to the Abbotsford Hotel. So let's have a look around, shall we? Come on in. So I'm a little unsure of the history when this actually closed, but I don't think it closed that long ago. Okay, so imagine this is called the Rome Bar. There's the cellar. We're gonna have a look at that in a bit. Is the main entrance. So here's the lobby of the uh, the hotel. fire exit so I think this is the kitchen yep here's the kitchen There's the extraction for the cookers. It's all been ripped out. So the copper pipes are still here. Yeah. I think this is a walk-in freezer. The freezer's locked. It's quite a new one that does. Just coming into the conservatory. And oh yeah, that window's open there as well. Guinness, John Smith's, cider, tenants. A little bit left in from the last barrel, look. I've got a date here. The 6th of the 4th, 2011.
Hey, we're gonna look upstairs now. Lovely old banisters here. These are the rooms, really high ceilings. Quite a modern shower and bath. This one's just got a shower. Some interesting lights here. Nice little room. It's room number seven. Which has got a unique little ensuite. That's a cool little skylight. That's weird. Looks old, whatever that is. This room has got some fresh pasta. <clears throat> now this room's got a lovely massive window. Huge window. So we can make our way up to the third floor now. And the floor feels spongy. Yeah, much smaller rooms. So I imagine these would have been the staff rooms. Time from up here. Queen Jezebel. I mean, it's an old book. Look at these little alcoves here. So there isn't much to the third floor, really. Just a, just a handful of rooms. So make our way back down now. Yeah, what is impressive is these really high ceilings, massive windows, which are unique to this building. And uh, once it's gone, I'm sure the uh, hotel that's going to replace it. It's not going to have as much character as this.
back into the foyer. So there's only one place left to explore around here now, guys, and that's the basement. Down that, uh, down that creepy staircase. So come on then. Here it is, guys. Definitely one for the torch. Super creepy down here. Uh, smell of old mold. We've seen the building here in its original state. Old door. This is probably as old as the hotel. Nineteen sixty nine. Alan Thompson was here, the 18th of the 10th, 1969. These refrigerators, are they? They look quite new. We've got some uh, dates here. 11th, 2016. Oh, okay, so it could have uh, been abandoned in 2016 here. Here's another little storeroom. Why? I've still got all the beer connected up here, look. Well, I didn't expect to see this. Yeah, so all these are... They're all full. Peroni, look. Ah. Crazy. Miller's Brands Perfect Pour. Eco Lab. It's a big room, big function room. Right there, Rod. No idea what they are. Could be some kind of coat hanger. Whoa. 
still smell perfume here. Yeah, so actually those windows don't open properly, but uh, this fire door is, uh, is wide open. Alright, so we're out. Yeah, so I'm um, glad I've uh, had a quick look around there. Because this place is definitely going to be gone pretty soon. Uh, yeah, so I hope you've enjoyed the video. Definitely fills the category um, filming places today that are gone tomorrow. Because uh, I don't think that place is going to be standing for much longer. So I hope you've enjoyed the video. Do all the good stuff. And I'll see you on the next one. <laughs> Drop.